We're here for case file number one concerning order of operations. Will the lawyer, defendant, and witness approach the stand to present your case, please? Good afternoon, Your Honor, members of the jury. The reason why we are here today is to show just cause of why Mr. Cato does not, in fact, owe $250 to Cinemark Movie Theater, but only $60. Um, the background is as such. Mr. Cato and four of his friends went to the movies. Now, each person purchased the movie ticket, they purchased a snack, and they purchased a drink. So, once they added up the bill, the movie theater states that Mr. Cato owes $250, when in fact, Mr. Cato is going to show you why he only owes the movie theater $60. Now, Your Honor, I would like to bring up Mr. Cato so he could explain the events that took place on the night of mention. Mr. Cato, if you could please approach the stand, I would appreciate it. Okay, okay we take a look at Exhibit C. If you notice here, I have the cost of the five tickets here, and I've written it in an expression, five times seven, because five of, five of us, uh, myself including four of my, four of my friends, we purchased the tickets for seven dollars. Um, here we have a cost of five snacks, five times three. That's the expression for that. The cost of five sodas is five times two. Um, I did a, an expression here at the bottom, which is five times seven plus five times three plus five times two. Now, right above the expression, I wrote the word PEMDAS. This is what we use, Your Honor, for solving expressions. This is called the order of operation. And if you notice, the P, which stands for parentheses, the E, which stands for exponents, the D, which stands for division, and the S, which stands for subtraction, is not circled. However, the M for multiplication and the A for addition is circled because that's, those are the operations that are in the expression. Now, we, the way we work our problem is from left to right. Here we have 5 times 7, which is 35. I wrote down, brought down 35, and everything else in the problem, I brought it down. So it's 35 plus 5 times 3 plus 5 times 2. Now, in this second um, line, the second expression, I'm going to multiply 5 times 3 next. 5 times 3 is 15. So I bring down my 15, and I rewrite 35 plus 15 plus 5 times 2. Now, my last multiplication um, in this problem would be 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So I bring down 10, and my uh, final expression would be 35 plus 15 plus 10. Now, because now that I'm done with multiplication, I'm going to move to addition. And when I add 35 plus 15 plus 10, I get 60. And 60 was my grand total. And so we see there's a difference between what the movie is saying that I owe $250 and $60. Thank you, Mr. Cato. You may have a seat. Thank you. Will the jury now present the verdict? If you believe the defendant is guilty, please raise your hand. If you believe is not guilty, raise your hand. And the verdict is not guilty. Court is dismissed.